there's a new stable coin in the game. Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to introduce to you Stably Cash. Now what is Stably Cash? It describes itself as the next generation partial collateralized algorithmic stablecoin. They are actually a fork of Frax. Your next question might be what is Frax? Frax is the world's first fractional algorithmic stablecoin which introduced the world to the concept of a cryptocurrency being partially backed by collateral and partially stabilized algorithmically. Now the difference between Stably Cash and Frax is the fact that Frax didn't have a fair launch, Stably Cash wants to have a fair launch. Now one of the key features of Stably Cash is that they have multi-collateral minting and redeeming, lower fees and a fairer token distribution unlike Frax. The website link will be in the description and it will be actually going live on Uniswap I believe on the 27th of January which is only a couple of days at the time of recording this video. One of the great things about Stably Cash is there's actually no fees when it comes to farming, details of which can be found in the description. Now there's two things to actually consider with Stably Cash is the fact that they have STC which is the Stably Cash token and they have STS which is the governance token. One of the things I actually like about the STS token is they actually have a price protection mechanism which prevents the collapse of the token. There's also a staking pool for the SCS token with an increasing emission based on the down rate. It's open source and verified and it has a minting function when depositing USDC or DAI in the smart contract where you can earn STC. Once again I want to remind you that this is a fair launch token with no pre-sale which means there's going to be no previous bag holders that can dump the tokens on your head when it lists. I want to take this time to thank Stably Cash for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions please fire them away in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Also I'm going to leave links in the description for their website and for their telegram groups as well as the medium article so go and check that out we've been talking about polka dot a little bit on the channel for a little while but not as much as i should have really and i've actually missed out on this as you can see polka dot has gone on a huge run and correlate from the breakout zone we're seeing it that it's gone up approximately around 260 percent i'd like to be able to get into polka dot and hold a nice bag of that but um, right now the price action scares me a little bit. I would like to see it come down for a nice pullback before I actually took a position on this myself. Anywhere around the $10 region would be quite a nice entry in my opinion. That's not to say that it can't run any more than what it already has because there's going to be a lot of eyes on Polkadot because of the founder Gavin Wood who's also the co-founder of Ethereum. It's clearly above the EMA ribbon and it doesn't look like it's coming back down to touch it anytime soon and we see that the volume is actually massive on this. So for me I think that Polkadot is definitely one that I need to keep an eye on especially in this bull run. I don't think I'd like to miss out on some of the potential gains that it can make. Considering we haven't seen the way this can perform in a bull run yet this could just be the beginning. We've talked about some of the other coins that are actually built on top of the Polkadot platform. So I think this has great promise and I think you know Polkadot might actually steal a few Ethereum fans on its journey. Ethereum made a new all-time high today at approximately $1,470 so if the price action continues the way it has been doing today I think there's going to be you know a bullish night ahead for Ethereum. We need to see how the candle body closes on the one day chart. The last thing we want to see is it close with this type of formation. I'd like to see it close green and I'd like to see a little bit more volume pushing towards the end of the evening. It is maintaining the price action above the EMA ribbon on the one day chart and we did have a little bit of a double bottom over here so that is definitely bullish but we have to wait and see how the rest of the day plans out for Ethereum to know exactly where it's going. So that's really all I've got for you today guys if you are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and smash the bell for notifications that way you get my videos as soon as they come out also go ahead and smash the like button that definitely helps with the algorithm and helps support the channel leave a comment down below if you have any questions and remember there's lots of links in the description for you to go and check out once again i just want to thank you for tuning in guys and i will see you in the next video